Hey, hello, and welcome back to my author tube channel. I'm Autumn Ashley, and today I feel like I'm going to be covering a whole lot of topics about my current slash about to be shelved whip, as well as the few new little sparkly, shiny ideas that I've been thinking about. Right now I'm still currently moving in, so there's a whole bunch of boxes over there by my bookshelf, so that's why we're gonna just be over here in this little corner. This video is going to be going up after my moving in slash moving out videos. So I do want to talk about my current whip. In one of my previous videos, I did a complete read through of Project Brina, which is the first novel that I've ever completed beginning, middle and end. And that one will always hold a very dear place in my heart. And I, I love that story so much. I've, I've been going through a lot with that story. Um, reconstructing it and re-outlining it and I don't really have like a whole lot of footage of me doing that just because I've been doing it off camera and in the whole moving process it was just so hard to actually record all of this stuff as I was working on my story so I don't have a lot of b-roll of that to show you guys well not a lot I don't have any um but I do want to say that I have gone through all of the notes and all of my google docs for project Brina and I know I've had a lot of people join me on this journey very recently so you don't really know what I'm talking about but Project Brina is a fantasy novel that I finished writing. The idea took me about two years to write and complete that first draft. I began working on it in April of 2020 and at the end of 2021 I finished that story. I love the story. I love all of the characters. I just I love it. However, I do feel like it's time to move on from that story. What I plan on doing with Project Brina, as I previously stated, I have gone through and revisited all of the Google Docs for, for that story. I actually created a whole new folder on Google Docs for Project Brina, and I put all of those documents that have something to do with that novel in that folder so I could have just one solid place for all of my stuff to be. I probably should have done that from the beginning, which is something I'm going to be doing for now on, just because there were oh, there were so many documents that needed to be put in that that folder, and it was a very very time consuming process. Lesson learned that Autumn will always make sure that she has a separate folder for each of her projects, so she doesn't have to sort through them later in life <laughs> when there's over 80 documents <laughs> to go through. Today is. Um, February 11th, 2022. And today I think is going to mark the very first day that Project Brina is going to be shelved and it's going to be the start of a new story. This, so before we get into this new story that I have been itching to talk about, we're gonna continue to um, talk about Project Brina and her future and where that story is headed. After I finished my read through of Project Brina, I organized all the notes into one place, I created a whole new Google Doc with all of the ideas that I liked from all of the previous notes that I had taken and notes that I took in my um, journal that is not over here, it's in the other room. I took my time rewriting all of those notes and putting all that into a fresh Google Doc because my idea is once I finally get back to Project Brina and I want to really work on it again, I don't have to shift through these 80 documents and try to figure out exactly what what I liked and what I didn't like. So when I go back to the project, I will have the one document, maybe two documents to go back into and say, okay, these were the parts that I liked. These were the parts that survived my first read through, the parts that survived my <laughs> first uh, first attempt at this novel. And these were the ideas that I liked and we're going to try to go forward with them. I've gone through all the world building, anything that I did like, things that I didn't like, I kept in the original document. I just did not cross them over. So all the original ideas are still there. If I felt the need to, if I go back to Project Brina and I want to see exactly like, what was the original idea or were there any other ideas that maybe I didn't catch the first time that I would like, I can go back to these original documents. So it's all going to still be there, but I do have a new fresh document that is going to have the ideas that I did like and the ideas that I would like to see in at least the future draft of draft two of Project Brina. Everything for Project Brina is ready to go for draft two. However, now that I've got to this really, really good stopping point, I feel very confident of putting this story to the side for now. We're gonna go down memory lane real quick. If you're new to my channel, you absolutely have no idea what I'm about to talk about. And if you are probably one of the first 100 subscribers, you may briefly know what I'm going to talk about. Back in 2020, uh, for NaNoWriMo, I had wanted to start on another project. And this project was Project Wolf Warrior. I worked on it for 
two or three months at the end of 2020. Oh, I don't like this angle. I need to adjust. It was my NaNoWriMo project for 2020, which was also the very first NaNoWriMo that I had ever participated in. I worked on that story for about three months and I discovered that I think that story was too big for my writing at the time. I don't think I had the tools and the abilities that, that my mind wanted the story to be. I don't, I, my craft wasn't there yet. So I shelved that story, which was actually the very first novel that I had ever shelved. I shelved that story at the end of 2020. I had plans of wanting to go back to it and I actually had plans of combining Wolf Warrior and Project Brina and have them in like a series together. I don't know if I still want to do that. We're going to worry about that a little bit later, but I still want, I want the stories to be interconnected somehow. But right now, since I'm going to put Project Brina on the shelf and we're gonna let her sit for a little bit in timeout, we will come back to that story and that world a little bit later. But I am going to be moving forward to another story. And the whole point of me wanting to take a stroll to memory lane with you guys is to say that I have shelved a story in the past, but this is not the story that I'm going to be returning to. The shiny new idea is that. It is a shiny new idea and it's actually not something that I talked about. Um, I have made a video about all of my novel ideas and I will leave that link down below. It was a, it's a pretty fun video. I really enjoy that video and I still have all of those books on my shelf that I would one day just love to write. It'll happen, it'll happen one day, but we're not there yet. The shiny new idea that I'm really, really excited to talk about. The working title is going to be Burning Roses. My idea for the story, I guess the pitch right now, since it's still just a shiny new idea and I'm still brainstorming it, I have yet to actually write anything on it and I'm going to talk about my game plan for that in, in just a second. But kind of my pitch and my idea of what I'm thinking about this story, think of Addie LaRue, so making the deals with the devil and um, the Hunger Games, kind of mixed together, but as a more YA fantasy, but I want it to be pretty dark. So that's like pretty much the only idea that I have for it right now. I think instead of just going straight into outlining the story, which I did with Project Brina and Wolf Warrior, and I did that with Project Brina just because I feel like I had a lot of ideas and I didn't quite know where to start, so I just started outlining, which was totally fine since I was a baby writer and I was trying to figure out my writing style. And then with Project Wolf Warrior, that was like all I ever knew was just to go straight into outlining and then try to write a story. And I discovered that that didn't really work for me, so I talked to one of my critique partners who is amazing. She knows who she is and she had said instead of you know working on doing the outlining specifically you can always just work on the key scenes that are popping up in your head and then see if they get connected in any way shape or form and so write the scenes that are more vivid in your mind and then just kind of fill in the blanks later. So that's actually how I'm going to attempt to write the story which I guess I guess is a way of pantsing the story but I don't, I don't want to call, <laughs> call it that because that just sounds not me. I am an outliner, but I think for this story, I just want to jump in and I just want to see where my writing gets me. And since my writing has improved drastically, hugely, widely, whatever you want to call it, since it has improved so much since I started working on Project Brina back in April of 2020, I do feel like my writing is, is strong enough where I can do that. I can work on a couple of scenes and see where that gets me. And then if I feel like I have enough of a story idea, I can kind of outline it as I go. So that's how I'm going to attempt to write this story, Project Burning Roses, which oh, I'm, so, I'm so excited for you guys. And I'm going to vlog this entire process. And if I don't end up writing it on camera like I did with Project Brino where I spent a lot of my time actually sitting down and filming myself write the story. If I'm not at a part or if I'm not at a place where I'm working on my story and I can't vlog it, I will give you guys an update of how I feel about certain parts of the story. But I really just wanted to sit down and talk about this new shiny idea that I had and this is going to be Project Burning Roses. So from today, forward with any of my writing vlogs that I'll be talking about. The story, the story is going to be Project Burning Roses and it's the dark fantasy that's Addie LaRue meets The Hunger Games meets something else that we don't know about yet because we are going to, I guess, discovery write it, outline it as we go and we're just going to have fun with this story. I'm really excited to start this new story. Project Brina will always, always hold this dear place in my heart. I Mm. It's the first story that I ever wrote beginning, middle, and end. I know I said that from the beginning, so that part's repetitive. But honestly, moving on to a different story just brings a whole new, a whole new meaning to writing for me since I've never finished a project and then moved on and worked on a different project. It feels 
it feels weird to like not have something completely finished before moving on but that is writing and my writing is only going to grow if i keep pushing forward so if i keep hanging out with project brina I'm never gonna bring new stuff to the table. I'm hoping with starting a Project Burning Roses, I can in the long run also help Project Brina and improve my writing and see where Project Burning Roses gets me. <sighs> you guys, I, mm, mm, I, <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm so excited to vlog a new story and to look back on this. It's almost been a year since I started documenting my writing vlogs with Project Brina working on draft one. And looking back on that content, it just makes me so happy. I cannot wait to draft to draft. Well, yeah, I can't wait to start drafting, but I really can't wait to start working on a new project. And then next year, this time next year, to see how the progress went for the entire year. I can't wait. And I'm so happy to have you guys with me on this journey. That's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and wanting to be part of this writing journey. You have no idea how much it means to me. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed and anything that I just said kind of interests you and just like the wee bit, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because, you know, I, that's, that's the life for the next 12 months. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. No. Ooh, ooh, my southern draw is really coming out in that. Let me see if I can do that without the accent. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yes.